Hello, welcome to Dive into Pooja's books. Let's learn about robots today. So, what are robots? Is it an instrument that helps assemble cars in factories? Is it a rover roaming and studying planets like Mars? Is it a machine working as a vacuum cleaner in your house while you are taking a walk outside? Is it an object sent in a building to diffuse a bomb? Or is it as simple as a toy robot? It is all of it. And today we'll see what are robots, how does it work and what are its uses. A robot is a machine that does tasks without the help of a person. Many people think of robots as machines that look and act like people. Most robots though do not look like people. And robots do only what a person has built them to do. Robot word comes from the Sesh word robota, which means forced work or labor. We use the word robot today to mean any man-made machine that can perform work or other actions normally performed by humans, either automatically or by remote control. Robotics is a science used to study the robots. Now imagine if your job was to tighten a screw on say a microwave and you did this over and over again on microwave after microwave, day after day, week after week, for months or even for years. Won't you be bored? This kind of job is better done by robots rather than humans. Most robots today are used to do repetitive work or actions or jobs considered too dangerous for humans. You see how important robots are? What would be more interesting to see is how do the robots work? Now, similar to humans, robots have three main parts. Controller or the brain, that's the first most important part. Similar to our brain, who tells us what to do. With the difference, robots can't think on its own. Its brain is nothing but a computer program. The program is very detailed as it gives commands for the moving parts of the robot to follow. Secondly, the second part of robots is like our hands or legs which can move. So robots also have mechanical or moving parts like the motors, pistons, grippers, wheels, gears that make the robot move, grab, turn, lift stuff. These parts or work on some kind of energy like the air, water or electricity. Finally, they have sensors. Not all robots have sensors though. Some robots only does the task programmed to do. Some robots have the artificial intelligence. So what does this artificial intelligence or AI mean? As I said, the robots have sensors to tell the robots about its surroundings. Sensors allow the robots to determine the size, shape, movements of the things around it, the direction, the shape between the objects and all of this. And once it has sensed these things, the sensor can be a camera or something like this. So if it has sensed these things, it sends the signals back to the computer. The computer stores the patterns of movements and other data. Later, the data can retrieve the pattern and tell the robot what to do in turn. So this is AI. You think the robot is thinking on its own, but actually it's AI or artificial intelligence that the computer is feeding to the robot based on the data that the robot has sensed and sent to the computer. Now we have seen how the robots work. What are its uses? Most industrial robots are used in factories. Some robots load, move and unload materials. Imagine the heavy materials. Others are used on assembly lines to help build things such as cars or appliances, even in food packaging.
Robots are especially useful because they can do things that could be dangerous for human. For example, they can descend deep underwater or into the space. You have seen the rovers that are in the Mars, studying the Mars and sending the signals back to the scientists. That is a type of a robot. Robots can also handle dangerous materials such as radioactive waste or harmful chemicals. They can even dispose of bombs or do spy work for the military. Robots continue to develop and now can be found in homes as toys, vacuums and as programmable pets. Take a look at this vacuum cleaner in my house which is just cleaning the floor for me. Robots can do the same thing over and over again without getting bored. They can drill, they can weld, they can paint, they can handle hazardous materials. And in some situations, robots are much more accurate than a human, which can cut back on production costs, mistakes or hazards. Robots never get sick, don't need sleep, don't need food, don't need to take a day off. And best of all, they don't ever complain. There are a lot of benefits of using robots. Now let's talk about some more advanced or futuristic robots. Robots in science fiction books or TV shows or movies. You might have seen they can often think, talk, listen, walk easily on two legs. Science fiction robots that look exactly as human are known as androids. Although real robots are becoming more complex, they still are not like these imagined robots from the movies. Some robots and computers have been given the ability to use the information from the previous activities to make future decisions, just like we talked before, the AI thing. So you can take uh, for an example, like a computer could determine the amount of traffic on a street to calculate when to change the light of the traffic signal. Similarly, computer games that give players a response based on the actions from the players, these are all forms of artificial intelligence. Let's talk about another interesting or futuristic thing, nanorobots. Nanorobots or nanobots are robots scaled down to microscopic size in order to put them into very small spaces to perform a function. Currently, nanobots are still in the developmental stage. Future nanobots could be placed in the bloodstream to perform surgical procedures that are too delicate or too difficult for standard surgery. Nanobots could fight bacteria by tracking down and eliminating each bacterial cell or could repair individual organ cells in the body. Imagine if a nanobot could target every cancer cell and destroy them without touching the healthy cells nearby. Maybe even you can be a scientist someday who works on nanobots. So wasn't it so interesting to learn about robots today? We learned about what are robots, how does it work, what are its uses and some futuristic robots. Now it's your time to go find out some books and learn more and more about robots. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to my channel for more such videos and write in the comment section what are more such topics or questions in your mind that, would, that you would like me to answer for you. Thank you so much for watching this. Happy learning. See you soon. Bye-bye.